All right, Shalom, Yashrallah. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakrash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well and who taught us his truth and citations for the Aki and pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. The brothers from the great millstone camp here in Chicago and Lord willing, it's at a fine lesson. All right. Uh, you know, now that we have the name of the Lord and we know and understand Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, we got to go to the Lord for everything, man. Especially for this wisdom, you know, and, and for direction. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? You see, the Lord's in control of everything. You know that Jeremiah 32, verse 27, it says, uh, The Lord, uh, behold, I am the power over all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? You know, this, this is the Lord's movie. You see, so that's why we got to pray, cry out. And, and, and what's the word you said? Uh, favor. We got to beg the Lord for favor, man, and direction in this walk, you know, that we are righteous vessels, you know, for the master's use all the way to the end, you see, because uh, we're not saved just yet, man. Those, like the scripture says, those that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So we got to hope that the Lord is directing our steps all the way to the end for salvation, man, you know. We got something here in Proverbs, a couple verses. This uh, Proverbs, I'll start at 3 and verse 1, it says, my son, forget not my law, Ooh. but let thy heart keep my commandments. For the length, this is for the length of thy of days and long life, and peace shall they add to thee. So, what is it going to add to you? Length of days, long life, peace. All right, because you know how you're going to have to conduct yourself in every situation in all thy paths. That's why the Lord said, "What's upon them while the, while thou goest, and that while thou goest, while thou comest, in the morning and the evening." Mm -hmm. It says, let, let not mercy and truth uh, forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So thou shalt find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh and man. So guess what? You're going to find favor of the Lord because um, when you read, uh, when you read, I believe it's, uh, is it, it's either Judges or Joshua. It said the Lord... Um, the Lord gave us these commandments so we would prosper in all our ways. Yep. So really, had we kept the law and had that been our delight, there'd be no issues, there'd be no problems, or there'd be no no reason for us to get chastised. So therefore, everything would prosper, our businesses. That's why right now our baskets are cursed, whether it be we be in the city or in the field, whether, you know, wherever we're at, that hey, we, were, we were meant not to prosper because we're not, what, what does it say, we're not... Um, uh, serving the, uh, with the, uh, thy Lord with, with all, um, it says to observe and do all these commandments. Mm -hmm. It says, um, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lead not on thy own understanding. So, hey, man, uh, vain opinion doesn't matter. You, you got to go to the book. You got to see what was written for us to keep his knowledge, to keep his wisdom. In verse 6, it says, um, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So it says what? It says he, he's going to direct our paths. So he, uh, what it says um, in Isaiah, you, uh, you shall hear a voice and it shall say, uh, uh, come and hear. You know, because when, uh, when you tap in, you know what the Lord, you know, what, what the Lord tells you to do, what not to do. That's why in, um, I believe it's Hebrews or even in the, um, in the later epistles, it talks about, um, uh, about the base things we will need to go into, brother, because we know you that the basis is keeping keeping the law, keeping the commandments, and then you go into the meatier things or, or the heavier things of the scriptures, man. All right, John. Got a quick one. In Psalms 51, and I'll get straight to the point. It says, uh, verse 11 says, Cast me not away from thy presence and take not the Holy Spirit from me. You know, we got to be constantly in prayer and, and acknowledge the Lord. You know, and, and so he could direct us along our path. Because hey, we didn't wake up and just choose the Lord. Like John 15, 16 say, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. All right? And a lot, hey, a lot of these scriptures, man, once you start to realize and understand them, hey, the better you'll be off because you know that the Lord is in control of everything. When you're in a, situ in a situation or anything, hey, cast your cares upon him for he cares for you. Because mm -hmm. you can't do anything. You got to tr trust in the Lord and... Uh, and he'll direct thy path, man. That's why the scripture says that it seems right unto a man, but the end of it are the ways of death. Mm -hmm. So we have to acknowledge the Lord and, and fear the Lord, all right, and, and and pray that he doesn't take that spirit away from us and, and shit. So, and constantly be in fear, you know, because a lot of people who go astray, 
you know, and 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 think their way is the right way, but it's not. All right, hey, like uh 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 in Exodus, you know, he controlled uh Pharaoh, man. He hardened Pharaoh's heart. Hey, Pharaoh wanted to let the people go. Hey, but the Lord hardened his heart. One more time. You know, so hey, the Lord is in, hey, you being uh, uh in a better mind state once you realize that the Lord is in control of everything, and we have to go to Him and trust in Him, and pray unto Him that He a hey, he doesn't cast uh, uh, the spirit away from us, man. Yeah. Uh, this is this is um, Psalms twenty-five, verse four. Show me yeah. thy ways, O Yahweh. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the power of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. You know. So again, knowing that the Lord is in control, we're waiting on the Lord. Uh, you know, to to uh, you know to direct us. All right. To, to give us wisdom to increase us right to, to to cover us you see to have the angels encamped around us why because we, we fear the lord all right we, we're seeking his ways his face you know this is uh Psalm, psalms 86 and 11 teach me thy way O yahweh i will walk in thy truth unite my heart to fear thy name you know all right so we, we got to fear the you know yahweh bashi now we got to fear the name of the lord man Right, it's gonna make us move differently, but again, that's you know, Lord willing, because the Lord is in control of everything, man. All right, the brother brought out, he quoted, uh, "The Lord chose us." You see, and the scriptures tell you that many are called, but few are chosen. So we've definitely been called. We know that. We're hoping that we get chosen, man, and that we continue in the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that He directs our way in truth. All right, this is Tarak 37 verse 15. And above all this, pray to the Most High. That he will direct that way in truth, you see, knowing that the Lord is in control. Hey, we gotta ask the Lord for everything, man. Especially, uh, you know, to to guide our to guide our steps in, in, in righteousness, you know, to all the way to the end to get into one of them chariots, man. Lord willing. Um, I got another one for you guys. Yeah, go ahead. Blessed, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Psalms 94, verse 12. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest. Who Yahweh, oh uh, Yahweh, and teaches him out of thy law. So you know the Lord is going to chasten those that He loves, you know, and He's going to teach him. Uh, uh, he's going to correct him according to what these scriptures, man, these laws, this, these statutes, and these commandments. It is given only to the children of Israel. You see. So you know, if, you know, when you get chastened, it's because the Lord is dealing with you. He loves you, you know, and He's just trying to correct you. You know. Right. The Lord ain't no righteous to just. Uh... To just beat you up for no reason just like your father wouldn't just come home and beat you for no reason man all right uh, it says um thou shall uh, therefore know in thy heart that um that the lord chastened thee like as, as sons man uh, mm -hmm. a man a man chastises who he, who, who he loveth so it might be a reminder to stay on that um on that straight and narrow uh but right. if brother hasn't got to get the um when a man's when a man's way, which is the same thing as a path, man. Mm -hmm. All right, what's a highway? It's it's a path. All right, the highways and hedges, those are all paths, right? So it it says that when a man's ways please the Lord, he even makes his enemies to be at peace with him. Which is why I was gonna get this wisdom of Solomon six. This is a wisdom of Solomon chapter six, and I'll read in verse. Um, I'll start in verse fifteen. It says, "To think there upon her is perfection of wisdom." Yep. And whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. So you know that once your ways please the Lord, man, hey, your enemies can't do anything because what do we do? We uh, we operate in and out of the matrix in our daily lives, not uh, not um, putting another scope upon us, but actually walking and able to be maneuvering in and out. You know, there's people that may have seen us in the line, and when we when we were in the line preaching with the garment, we even took it right off and bumped into them, and because and and because. There's a whole different aura, man. It'd be blinding these people. That's why we know it'd it be angels camping around us because it'll be somebody that, that we saw or there'll be times where we'll be like, hey, I think I seen that guy pass us by the line once. You know, and they won't even recognize you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the Lord will provide that where you're still, you're still out there. You know, they can still say that they heard some men in the street preaching. All right? And, and you'll be able to maneuver uh, in and out, man. You know? Yeah. You know, that Proverbs you want it? Go ahead. Yeah. You know, Proverbs 16 and 7 says, When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. The Lord has us covered, man. The Lord has us covered. So he, 
even even when when we serve the Lord, we know that if if the, if that path is astray, right? Because really perverting from the from the one path that the Lord gave us gets us that chastisement. All right, the Lord the Lord's uh, 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 thoughts towards us is peace, man. Mm -hmm. uh, the scriptures say it was what it's it's your, it's your sins that have separated you from me. So we know that that's what that's what separates from the Most High. Not that the Lord uh, is is tempting us here so He could chastise us. No, man. Had our ways uh, uh, been uh, on the straight and narrow, there was a list of benefits, a list of blessings, a list of things that were going to come to us where we didn't have to lose dominion. See, everything that, 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 that the Lord's going to give us in the kingdom was what he proposed for us from the beginning. And it was only when we, we diverted. That's why when you go to Deuteronomy 28 and 1, 1 through 15, it literally lets you know the benefits. Then when you get to 15, it lets you know that these are the punishments. So it was it, the, really the, the 1 through 15, it, what it covered, it covered making you uh, uh, above all these people first and foremost. And with that came what? The increase. The fact that we didn't, we didn't have to lose dominion. You know? Yeah. Quick one. Psalms 119 and 105, it says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet mm. and a light unto my path. You know? So we had, hey, just constantly acknowledge the Lord in all in all our ways, man. And he'll direct our path like the brother brought out in Proverbs of the third chapter. Can you hit 133? Mm-hmm. Proverbs of Same chapter? Come oh, on. yeah, yeah. Verse 133. It says, Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. You see, and here's a good example of King David asking, praying to the Lord, you know, mm -hmm. to order his steps in thy word, man. All right? Not, not of this world, not, not of carnal things. All right, but things that are profitable in the spirit that, that later on render, uh, you know, righteous carnal things, man, like this kingdom. All right, you know, uh, rulership, you know, uh, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, having a hundredfold, you know. You know, to get there, you have to go through this, man. You have to be in order with the Lord, you know what I'm saying, and be applying this word. Yeah, and once you do it, you get like many victories that that are uh, that will boost your spirit right. to the ultimate win. Because yeah, in reality, some of the carnal ones, like it says in Timothy, then men fall in diverse temptations mm -hmm. because there was men that started on this path of correctness that seen the benefits, and it was too much where it basically led uh, uh basically uh, had them walking carelessly till when they fell into that trap. Like uh, uh was it Wiley Coyote? You know, he got he would get so anxious and chasing. The road runner that he'd forget the same trap that he let you know that's why the, the scriptures it, it, it talks about having uh the humility of what with our hands because with them come those te diverse temptations man then with them comes the uh the, the 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 comfort of of maybe i'm doing enough man where hey, we pray the lord he give us we he give us enough and so we know to thank him uh to abide in him and fear him and but we also don't want any need because in need what we would do man we curse ourselves by cursing the lord because the lord don't need us you know yeah, yeah. yeah how would he is he exists you know he he didn't we didn't create him it wasn't a joint belief that created yahweh yahweh is the ancient of days okay he don't he don't need us but the fact that he made a path for us to get benefits for serving him and i'm gonna get this in deuteronomy it's deuteronomy's uh, uh chapter six verse seven that says and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thy house, and when thou walkest by 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 the way, when when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and of thy gates. If this is repetitively keep them in front of you. That's why the fringes had a reason. You putting the laws. It's like when you walk into the courthouse and it says no cell phones. You know that if you're in that courthouse. And they catch you with your cell phone, you could lose it. What did the teacher tell you? Hey, beyond this point, no gum. All right, that's these were things set as reminders. If these laws were everywhere, if we talked among them, then whoever wasn't with the program or with the law would not come around. Yeah. You know, Jake ex ex excludes themselves from the sin. Man, these guys always talking about God's gonna save me. There's people that excommunicate themselves because because of the uh, our conversation, our conversations in the heavens, man. That that that's not gonna make somebody that's comfortable or invested in this world comfortable around us, man. There's there's people in the world that, that have come around us when we deal and we be hoping they got it. You know what I'm saying? Brothers brothers have been various examples. And what happens is to them it's not enough. Like 
it's, it's, it's uncomfortable because they can't see themselves because they're they're only invested in what they see. They're only invested in what this world has taught them to believe is what they can touch, feel, smell, and taste, man. And that doesn't work with the Most High. Uh, in in Hebrews it says, it says uh, a faith is the uh, is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, man. You know, so we know, we know because it was to our destruction that these laws benefit for us to live, for us to be able to not be in captivity, not be subject to our enemies. We know that because we see what the benefit, what the benefits are going to be now that we're establishing ourselves um, in that, um, in that, in that Psalms 119. Did, did, did somebody get that uh, uh, 109 Ooh. where it says, um, uh, it says, um, how shall a young man cleanse his ways? Oh, Cleanse yeah. his way, his path. No, I ain't actually. Yeah, which is, yeah, 119? One, 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 uh, one, uh, one, nine, one, uh, 119 and 9, I think. And one, oh, yeah, 9. Not the time. Like, mixing it. But where does it says, how shall a young man cleanse his ways, his path? How is he going to repent? How is he going to cleanse himself from the sin that he's bound, that, that he that, that he was bound to if he doesn't find the Lord, really? Because mm -hmm. these people are tied to their sins. Till they get the judgment for it. Go ahead, Ark. Come. This is um, Psalms 119 and 9. It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. Hey, by taking heed. How is he going to cleanse it? How is he going to get right? By taking heed to the things written. Hey, uh, what does it say, man? Uh, though I was, though, although, uh, although I was envious of the foolish when I seen the prosperity of the wicked, you got to snap yourself out of it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you see these millionaires being like, well, man, maybe what if I do invest a little bit of time, coin, and money into the, you know? You, you, then you find yourself d d diverting, you know, at the mission at hand, mm -hmm. which ultimately, it, that's, that's no hit on brothers that have anything set up. That's a blessing of the Lord. It's, it's you uh, deviating from the work of the Lord that is first and foremost. Then all those things come. Those things come as blessings, man. We're, uh, with the brother, uh, I talked to him, we're from Atlanta, we were talking about it. And, and, and there's brothers that are being blessed now, you know, and, and guess what? Just like the most humble man ever is acknowledging that that's of the most high and that quickly can be without, you know, that, that that's, that's not, um, that's not a, a long-term investment because we're invested in the Lord and him be profitable salvation, riches, should need. That's why what it says, man, I want to be in need or be in abundance. You want to be uh, just enough, man. All right, and then again, that's not knocking on brothers what they have. In fact, that's proof of it. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, that's evidence of it. It's kind of like Apostle Obama said uh, recently in one of his lessons: uh, focus on the job, you know, at hand. They say, you know, in yeah. the street. You see, right in the kingdom, there's going to be time. You know, what I'm saying to put in time is it, something that's going to mount you up. And yes, it is because it says, in fact, now I'm going to have to get it. You know, because then will we prosper and all. In all in, in everything, man. That's right. You know, and hey, look, and that's that's what we're hoping for, because brother, you know, uh, we know that the the curses came upon us and destroyed us, and and that's why where we're at now. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, so we know. Look, it's Joshua one and eight. Mm. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all is written therein. So first of letting you know that you have to know this, you have to apply it. it says this is the book of the law that shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Mm -hmm. So that's that's when the the, the success comes, man. Mm -hmm. All right, we can't um uh, we, we can't uh establish anything long term here. This this is uh it says the fashion of this world. And everything in it, the lust of the flesh, all that is gonna die here. All that gonna stay here, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna take, you ain't uh, uh, gonna take anything that's rooted here because uh, as you get 35, says the Lord is gonna make this place desolate. All right. You ain't gonna go to your, your your lost key box of Babylon and go into Chase, you know, and take out your birth certificate and, and a couple shekels that you set stored up, man. You know. Okay. Yeah. Hey, with that, we hope this lesson was edifying. Edifying. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Chakudash, the bonds to the apostles and others of great millstone who rule well and who taught us the truth and salutations. 
Tell the oxen push me swear in truth and in sincerity and charity. Shalom. Wa Ababa Ba. Ababa Ba.